Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I did go ahead and get my hair cut and highlighted. So shout out to Lindsay and Rachel. Studio 59 is where it's at. Um, I've been going to them for years and I don't trust many people with my hair, but they did a wonderful job. So shout out to them if you're in that area and they'll hook you up. Um, sometimes you gotta start over, especially on a hair journey. Cause I had my hair, it was really long. So, um, but yeah, shout out to them. And we will go ahead and get into today's video. Um, it's going to be the e.l.f. video, and it's going to be with the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. And then I also have two Bite Side palettes as well, and that is this one here, which is called a Caillou. I'm not for sure, but that's what it's called, is a Caillou. And then we also have another one, which is Cream and Sugar. So this is that one here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, it's Cream and Sugar and my camera is not focusing. But yeah, anyway, cream and sugar. And I will leave the links down in the description box as well. Okay, so I did go ahead and pull my hair back just due to the makeup. So I'm not gonna have my hair in my face while I'm doing the makeup. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off with primer. I do have an e.l.f. putty primer. I thought I had an e.l.f. putty primer for my lids, but I guess I don't. So we will just use my Milani. So we're just going to improvise for right now. And then I'll go ahead with the e.l.f. eyeshadow. I'm thinking about going in with like a purple, blue, something like that. Being that my shirt is blue, so I think I'm going to do that. I do apologize for the sirens. It wouldn't be my type of video if there wasn't any sirens going on. Every time I do a video, it seems like there's sirens or you can hear my air kicking on in the background. And I do apologize for all of that. I didn't realize that you could hear my air kicking on. So I went ahead and turned it off for now. All right, so we're gonna dip into both palettes here. I think I'm gonna start with this here. Again, this is the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. I don't know if you can see that here. There we go. All right. So they do have some pretty colors in here. Um, we're going to start off with some neutral colors. I'll probably just do the peach and like the brown, just mix them together just to get started and see what we can come up with. It's been a while since I dipped into the palette, but e.l.f. has some really good products. I love e.l.f. and they're affordable, so their products are really nice, good quality. I'm just going to use the same brush, um, just doing the peach, peaches color and the brown. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into this little purple right here and just go over the lid with it and then I might put a little blue on the edge of my eyelid. Let's see here what we can do. I like that color, it's pretty. I love purples. I think purples, blacks, um, dark blues, I think they bring out like brown eyes. I think that makes your eyes pop.
and I really like this color. It's pretty. I always love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors as well. And then I think I'm just going to take this palette here, the one with the blues in it, and I think I'm going to pop some blue like just at the edge of my eye right here. Let's see here. Well, there's the church bells. I'm telling you. It wouldn't be my type of video if you didn't have some type of background noise in my video. Okay, it's a little too light. Let's not do that. Let's see here. Mm. I guess it's blending. It looks pretty good together in a mix, but it's actually not really showing either. I think it's too light for it to be showing. Let me try the next color here. I don't know if this is supposed to be a black or a blue. It looks like maybe like a navy blue. See, that one's going on better than the other one. Just give it a little pop. Just do the same thing to my other eye. I put a little bit more on there to match my other eye here. Okay, I like that combo. That combo is pretty. It's cute. That is cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges here. Give me a little clean blending brush here. Blend out these edges. Yeah, when I'm blending out the edges, I just take a little clean blending brush and just blend out the edges. That way there's no lines. We try to minimize them as much as possible. Okay. And I think we'll go ahead and do eyeliner. So, let me see here. I don't think I got, no, I didn't get any e.l.f. eyeliner. Um, yeah, I didn't get any e.l.f. eyeliner. Don't kill me. Don't say I'm slacking. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my LA Girl gel black liner and just put that on my eyes here and that may go over top with one of them blues over this corner right here i think that'll be pretty Well, y'all here in all today, you hear the train? All right, so the eyeliner is on. I think I'm going to go in with that shimmer and put that on top of my eyelid, on that blue right here. I think that'll make it pop. Let me see here. All right. But see, they have kind of like a purple color in here too, this color right here. Let me try that and see what we see what it does.
Okay, so I do like that. It does make it pop a little bit, but I think I'm gonna use my finger. When in doubt, use your finger to make your eyeshadow pop. Or you could always spray your brush too. If you spray your brush, it'll make it pop too. But I'm just gonna use my fingers right now. Or my finger, not my fingers. You know what I mean. You get me. All right, so that is applied and it looks a lot better. I like that, it makes it pop a little bit more. I like the combo of both colors, it's really pretty. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and prime the face. Um, let's see here. I do have the e.l.f. Putty Primer here, so we're gonna use this today to prime. So that's what it looks like here. The e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm just gonna use my fingers and put some on my face. And again, whenever you're priming your face, you wanna leave it in for like a couple minutes to let it sit on your skin. That way the makeup can do its thing. Stick to your face. All right, so that is on and we'll let that go ahead and sit for a couple minutes here. All right, so now that we've let it sit on the face for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go ahead in with my Camo CC Cream, and this one is in the shade Tan 400W. So that is what this is here. I don't know why my hand is shaking, but yeah, that's it. Sorry if it's blurred out. I don't know why it's acting like that. But we're just gonna put it on my finger here, see what it does here. So let's see, it looks like the color may be a little bit light, but we'll see, I can still make it work. So we'll see. But my face is lighter than my body. I don't know why, but it's just how it is. I'm always in the sun though, but yeah, my face is lighter than my body. All right, so that is on. Pretty good coverage. I haven't used this in a long time. I like the coverage. My face feels kind of oily with it. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe the primer that I used, but looks good. Trust the process and see what happens. It could be that I turn my air off. I don't know, but the show must go on. So there's that. And then we will go ahead and conceal. I did get a concealer. And the shade that I have is Tan Walnut. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and see what this does. See what kind of coverage it has. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I hear this is really good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer. A pretty good shade match. Oh, I'm 
about to go over my eyeliner again here in a moment. I got the edge of my eye right here. Go over my eyeliner. Now I was searching for the ELF Halo Glow Setting Powder. I did have it. I don't know what happened to it. I can't find it. I searched my whole collection and I can't find it. So my apologies for that as well. I don't know. I'll have to get me some more. And then at a later time, do another review on ELF makeup. And then I'll probably have some more products that I've purchased by then, so. Okay, so that has set. So now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. bronzer, which I don't really do putty bronzer, but we're gonna go in with it. And what shade is this? Okay, this one is Tan Lines. So this is what the shade looks like, Tan Lines. It may look a little light on camera. It's kind of like a medium color, but we'll see. I've never done um, putty bronzer, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm just gonna go up here. Oh yeah, it's light. It don't even show up on my skin. That's funny. That's funny. Well, this is a no-go. I'm trying, but it's not even... You can't even see it on me. I'm about to get me a darker shade. Yeah, it ain't showing. There's no sense in putting it on if it ain't showing. Okay, well, that was a fail. <laughs> I'm gonna give me a darker shade. All right, so then we do have Putty Blush, so I can try that and see what that one does. This one is in the shade The Leaves. So that's the color to that. I don't know if you can see it. My camera's not, there we go, The Leaves. So there's that, let's see what this one is. It's a pretty color. So it's, yeah, it's a really pretty color. So I'm dap it on. I guess I have to really dip it in there. It's a pretty color. You guys can see that it's a really pretty color. So there's that, and then I'm going to go ahead and set my face and come back because again I don't have the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder because I don't know what happened to it. I guess I lost it within my move. No big deal. But I will be right back. I'm gonna set my face and then we'll apply the the bronzer, blush, highlight, and continue the rest of the face. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and set my face. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do bronzer. I did have a bronzer, but the bronzer that I did have, it was kind of light. So I did give it to one of my friends. Um, it would look better on her skin tone because she's more fairer than me. So it's gonna match her perfectly. Um, so I'm gonna have to improvise and use my Physician Formula Bronzer. And this one is in the shade Deep. So this is Deep Bronzer by Physi Physician's Formula. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze my skin. Again, that putty bronzer that was too light, so I will have to get another shade and do another video. And I'm honestly putting on this makeup just for the video. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going anywhere at all. It's too hot. I think it's like 92 degrees right now, and it's hot. All right, so we're gonna go ahead in with the blush. Now I did manage, the blush is gonna work for me. So this one is in, what is it? Oh, Pomegranate. Yeah, is that right? Pomeg Pomegranate, yeah. So this is the Elf, and the Elf, the Elf blush and the highlighter. I don't know if you can see that. My camera is something else. It's like you have to put it a certain angle or whatever. Sorry, I'm still playing with it. It's new. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. All right. So these are the two colors right here. So I'm going here with the blush. 
I was about to say brush. I am going in with the brush to get the blush. Oh my goodness. I think the heat's getting to me. All right, and here's the highlighter. We're gonna use the highlighter here. Apply it on our cheeks. Now, if you wanna make this pop like your highlighter, all you have to do is spray your brush. You spray your brush and you're gonna be sparkling like no other. I always put it on top of my, near my eyebrow. So there's that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take those two colors that I was using in the e.l.f. palette. I am going to use, so I'm gonna use that purple and then I'm gonna use that blue color in this um, eyeshadow palette. And I'm just gonna run it across my lower lash line. Mix it up a little bit here. So, give me a... I like doing this because it just brings out your eyes more. It makes your eyes pop more. All right, I'm going to get me another brush for the other color. Sometimes, whenever you're doing this, though, sometimes it can make your eyes water because you're so close to your um, eyelashes. So I'm just going to take this color here. Okay, so there's that. And now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the mascara. I have the Big Mood Waterproof Mascara from e.l.f. So there's this, we're gonna go ahead and try that. I hear this is pretty good. I like the wand. I hear this waterproof is better than the original mascara. I always apply like a couple coats. But... I've never used my left hand to apply mascara. This is my first time doing it. I figured I'd go ahead and do it because it'd be blocking me if I was doing it the other way, so, on camera. So I was like, let me just go ahead and try it with my left hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on another coat. The wand is nice. It's I think it's kind of too big though because I can't get in there like I want to. It's nice.
Me personally, I don't see that much difference with this mascara. That's why the um, Lash Princess by Essence, that's one of my all time favorites. I love that mascara. This one here, I, I love this mascara. This mascara, it's really lengthening. I don't really see that much with the mascara, but it's nice. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, as far as lips go, let me go ahead and use this lip stain. This is the color Basic Beige from e.l.f. So let's go ahead and put this on. It's a pretty color, like a nude. Not too overpowering, I, I can't even talk, not too overpowering. And it just gives you like a little bit of color. I like that. All right, so we are going to go ahead and now set the face. I do have the Stay All Night Microfine setting, setting mist up to 16 hours. That's the e.l.f. setting mist here. It smells good. I like the smell of this. It smells really good. So yeah, guys, this is the completed look with the e.l.f. makeup. Um, stay tuned. There will be more content coming. And if you have not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.